Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm sharing with you an amazing protein treatment for extreme hair growth. So if you're interested, be sure to stick around and watch till the end of the video so you don't miss out on any useful information. Now, before we dive into it, guys, thank you so much if you're a returning subscriber. I really appreciate your support. And if it's your first time here, I'm Vanessa. I make natural hair videos, including lots of DIYs to help us grow strong, healthy, and long natural hair so consider subscribing to join the family now let's hop into it guys the first ingredient we will need for this recipe will be some avocados now avocado is a great source of biotin and also it contains minerals like potassium and magnesium and these are actually known to seal the cuticle cells which can help your hair look smooth shiny and also prevent it from breaking so i'm using a whole avocado here you need to make sure that your avocado is properly ripened the reason why that is is because if it's not you will end up with you know some avocado stuff left in your hair after you rinse this treatment off so be sure to use an avocado that's really ripe the riper it is the better so essentially i'm just cutting it into like four pieces here and i'm just getting the avocado out into a bowl now make sure that you get all of the avocado <laughs> into the bowl pretty much Okay guys, so now our next ingredient will be some eggs. Now egg supports hair growth because it contains quite a lot of protein and also it prevents hair loss and it enhances elasticity of the hair. At shine, uh, it also repairs you know, dry, damaged hair and it improves the texture of our hair as well. Now after adding that egg guys, I now went in to add some olive oil but you can use any other oil of your choice. It could be coconut oil, avocado oil, um, I don't know, any of the oil that you've got available. I usually use olive oil quite a lot in my hair regimen and I've definitely noticed, you know, massive changes um, in my hair growth since using it. So I've used olive oil for so long. But yeah, feel free to switch the oils depending on what you have. Now, the next one will be my favorite aloe vera. You guys know how much I'm in love with aloe vera. Um, <clears throat> it's just so great for hair, guys really great for skin as well so i'm not going to talk too much about how i make this so essentially you just want to make the aloe vera juice um i would have shown quite a lot in my videos how i get the juice so but i'll still show it here so you can skip this part if you don't want to see it um but yeah it's really nice and straightforward now if you don't have the fresh aloe vera leaf what you can do is use aloe vera gel or aloe vera juice from the store do make sure that is 100% though because at least you know that you know it's all natural stuff that's in it so but if you're using the, the leaf just like i'm doing here just go ahead and blend it for you know maybe just a few minutes and then after that pour it in your sieve and allow it to drain naturally now you can actually use a tea towel or stocking uh, cap or any other thing that you've got really to strain this I just let mine sit there for a few minutes and it was absolutely fine so after it sat there for a few minutes guys this is what it looks like so just throw that away and then uh, get the juice so pour your juice back in your blender and then we're going to add the other stuff so the avocado egg and olive oil mixture and then we'll go ahead and blend this together so blend until it's nice and smooth you want to make sure that the avocado is properly blended so you don't end up with any chunks of avocados in your hair so this is what it looks like guys nice and smooth and yeah really nice so pretty much you're ready to apply this to your hair so i just started to pop that in the bowl um just so i can just you know take as i'm applying to my hair pretty much this 
so this is what it looks like guys nice smooth consistency not too thick not too liquid so just the perfect consistency now you can adjust the ingredients of this recipe however you want so it just depends on you know um how much you're trying to make or perhaps how thick you want to make it as well so i'm just showing you guys here how i apply this to my hair i'm starting on shampooed hair not detangled because i usually don't detangle my hair anymore before washing because i just find that it saves me so much time doing it this way um but again do what works for you guys so if you usually um detangle before you shampoo that's absolutely fine so i'm just starting here on wash hair like i said not uh condition so i'm just doing this treatment as part of my conditioning routine but you can also apply this treatment uh, without shampooing your hair so let's say uh, maybe once a month you do feel like your hair needs a protein treatment definitely go ahead and apply this now i just think it's better to apply it on clean hair because you're more more likely to get the best results so my hair is already in sections i'm just kind of undoing each one of those sections and then i'm going ahead and applying the um, mask all over my hair now make sure that you cover every single bit of your hair including your ends because that's usually the oldest and the weakest part of our hair so if you're trying to retain length like i always say guys it's very important that you baby your ends because otherwise it's going to break and you're not going to see that length coming through after i finish that guys i'm just twisting it and then i'm just rolling it on itself so it doesn't get dry as i work on the next section so i'm just going to go ahead and repeat that until my head is completely done oh my head until my hair sorry <laughs> is completely done So guys i was just showing you here how defined my curls are looking like this protein treatment is definitely the bomb like it's really moisturizing really restoring um as well because it really helps like define your curls if you have you know dry damaged or unruly hair definitely this is one of the treatments that you need to consider uh using because it will certainly help revive the protein back in your hair and make it look you know as good as it can possibly be so look at how much definition we've been able to get just using this treatment like i just think it's just amazing I just loved how you know well my hair was looking like how my curls were popping when I was applying this like it was so good like it feels so good to the hair guys it's really really moisturizing really nourishing um, so yeah a really really good treatment that I'll suggest you try now I'm actually curious how often do you do protein treatments on your hair guys let me know in the comment section down below is this something that you do very often is this something that you do sparingly um yeah it would be very interesting you know to just hear you guys perspective with regards to me i actually don't do protein treatments that that much to be honest because i feel like with protein you have to be a little bit more careful um Protein treatments are great. Obviously, they restore the you know strength back to your strands. It makes your hair stronger. It improves elastic elasticity in your hair, which makes it less likely to break. But the downside of protein treatment as well, especially if you do it too often, is that it can cause protein overload, and that can actually give you more breakage throughout your hair than you know uh, trying to than actually uh, retaining. Uh, that hair so that's why with protein treatments you have to be a little bit careful about you know how often you do it 
and also listen to your hair guys to listen to your hair pudding treatments i don't think is one of those things that should be done um you know very often i think maybe like four to six weeks or even like two to three months is a good time to do poaching treatments obviously it depends on how your hair feels so this is not set in stone um that's basically what i do because i just feel like my hair doesn't really need this treatment like every single time so yeah let me know how often you do yours and you know why you do it and things like that so it will be very interesting so after i've done that guys i just put a plastic bag on my hair and i let that sit for about three hours and i went ahead and rinsed it off and this is what my hair looks like you can see it looks very nice and shiny um really soft as well i really loved how it felt and detangling my hair after this wasn't difficult at all um i just think this routine works very well for me uh, detangling after you know shampooing and conditioning it just makes it so much easier so yeah this is pretty much it for me today guys thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed the video don't forget the thumbs up also share with your friends your family anyone that you believe can benefit from this and i'll catch you in my next video bye